hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you for returning to rewatch my videos and to also gain a lot of insight into the tasks that will be performing if today is your first time visiting my channel please hit the subscribe button and also click the notification icon so that anytime we have a new video you will be the first to get notified so that we all grow together today we are looking at the tax 0x0fc function pointers so as you can see the checker will be released today 12 pm now before you perform this tax these are some of the resources that you are supposed to read or watch so that you'll be able to gain more insight into the project that we are doing now these are the general things that we are supposed to know some of the things that we are supposed to know are what are function pointers and how to use them what does a function pointer exactly hold and also where does a function pointer point to in the virtual memory now these are the requirements so the test editors that we are supposed to use or the allowed editors we have the vi the vim and the emax and also all your files will be compiled on ubuntu 20.04 lts using gcc and also all your files should end with a new line then one mandatory thing that we are supposed to take note is that anytime we create a root folder a project directory we must make sure it contains a readme file now your code should use the betty style because it will be checked using the betty you are not allowed to use global variables and also no more than five functions per file now the prototypes of all your functions and the prototype of the function put chart should be included in your header file called function pointers.h don't forget to push your header file and also all your header files should be include guarded so without talking much let's dive in the first thing that we are supposed to do before we can start the tasks is to complete this particular quiz so if you are facing difficulties solving this quiz you can just come along with me and look at the answers or the solutions to the quiz over here so when you are done solving the quiz then we can now start working on the task now before you perform the task the first thing that you are supposed to do is to launch your terminal and run your sandbox now when you run your sandbox you see that you will be to take you into the home of your sandbox now as you can see all our projects we are doing them inside the root folder so to navigate to the root we use the command change directory which is cd followed by the name of the root directory now for us to be sure we are inside the root directory we will do ls which is list the content in that particular directory just to be sure we are in the right directory so over here you can see that all the projects that we have done so far are here so that means we are inside the right directory but when you come to the bottom of that of the task you can see over here that the repo or the repository in which we are supposed to perform or do this project is the ALS low level programming repository so for us to be able to navigate into that particular folder or repository we type cd followed by the name of the repo then you hit enter so right now when we do ls you can see that all the low level programming programming tags that we have done so far you can see all of them over here so the next thing that we are supposed to do is to create the directory 
0x0f function pointers. So you can come and copy the name over here. Come back to your terminal and type mkdir, which is the command for make directory. And you paste the name that you copied. Then you hit enter on your keyboard. So right now when we ls, you can see that we have our function pointers that we created over here. The next thing that we are supposed to do is to now navigate into the directory because it is inside this directory that the whole of these tags will be doing it inside. So the next step is to cd change directory into our new created directory. Then you hit enter. So right now you see that when we ls, it's empty. Now you remember that it is mandatory that anytime you create a directory, you must have a readme.md file. So to do that, we are going to use our vi test editor to create our readme.md file. So you type vi, then you type readme.md. The .md, as I always say, is just the extension for a markdown file. Then you hit enter. Now anytime you open a file with vim editor, it opens in the command mode. So for us to do update or edit the file, you hit I on your keyboard to change to insertion mode. Then we can come to the top over here, copy the project heading, come back to our terminal, then we now give the first heading which is hashtag and you paste it. Whilst we are done editing your file, hit escape on your keyboard to return back to the command mode and you type colon wq which is write and quit then you hit enter so right now you can see that when we ls we can see our readme file over here so the next thing that we are going to do is to now push this to github so to do that you type git add git commit dash n then my message i'll say created read me file then you now do git push so whilst we are done the next thing that we are supposed to do is to now create our function pointers header that's our header file so to do that we will copy this particular name over here come back to our terminal and type vi then paste it over here and hit enter. Now in the command mode, hit I on your keyboard to enter the insertion mode so that we can type our code. I will provide a link in the description below to all the codes that we are typing in this video so that you can click on the link and also be able to have access to the code and follow along as we continue after typing your code okay which is this code that we have over here you hit escape on your keyboard then you type colon wq to return back to the previous page then we can now push this to github first of all we have to use betty to check whether there are no errors in our code so to do that we type betty followed by the name of the, the file so to do that you type betty followed by the name of the file then hit enter so as you can see over here betty has passed our file successfully so now we can now add it to the repository we can now commit created and file Then we can now do git push. So after creating this, we can now come back to the tags and first of all, copy the name of the file, which is zero print name, print name.c. 
come back to our terminal and type vi and paste the name of the file and hit enter. In the command mode, hit I on your keyboard to enter the insertion mode so that we can now type our code. After typing our code, okay, then we press escape to enter the command mode. Now, first of all, let me explain what this code is doing to you guys. So, the task is saying that we should write a function that prints a name. And we are making use of the, the prototype print name. So, over here, you can see that we have our function header over here. And also, over here, we are saying if name is not equal to now, and name and f is not equal to now, then it should print name. So what this function is doing is, it is what? Printing a name. So anytime name and f is not now, then it will print a name for us. After typing your code, you click on escape to enter the command mode and type colon wq to quit and return to the previous page. Then hit enter. Now over here, we have to be sure our file is of no errors so to do that we use the betty so betty followed by the name of the file and hit enter after passing successfully we can now do git add git commit so created print name then we can now do git push if your checker is released then you can now click on check code from here we can now move on to the next task so over here we have if you spend too much time thinking about a thing you will never get it done so we are being asked to create a to write a function that executes a function giving us a parameter on each element of an array so the prototype that we are using okay from our header file is this particular one void array hydrator prototype then over here where size is the size of the array so the size that we have over here is the size of the array and the action that we have over here is a pointer to the function you need to do to use so to do this particular task we scroll to the bottom here copy the name over here come back to our terminal and type vi followed by the name of the file and hit enter now in the command mode hit i on your keyboard to enter the insertion mode then we can now type out. after typing our code okay this whole thing that we have over here is satisfying the statement that we have over here so after typing our code hit escape on your keyboard then you type colon wq to save and quit then we can now use betty to now check our after it has passed betty successfully we can now push it to github so we do git add git commit dash n then created array iterator then you now do git push to push to github if your checker is released you click on the check code button after a successful check the done over here will be ticked and it will change to green green then we can now move on to the next task so the next task is to help with circumstances i create opportunities we are being asked to write a function that searches for an integer so the prototype that we are using is the int int index function prototype. So the size that you see over here is the number of elements in the array array that we have over here. 
Then CMP is a pointer to the function to be used to compare values. Int index returns the index of the first element for which the CMP function does not return zero. If size is less than or equal to zero two, we are supposed to return negative one. So to perform this task, we copy the name of the file, come back to our terminal and type vi, and we paste the name of the file, then you hit enter. In the command mode, hit i on your keyboard to enter the insertion mode, then we can now type our code. After typing our code, you can hit escape on your keyboard, then you type colon wq. To write and quit. Now over here, what this code is doing is that you can see that over here we are saying write a function that searches for an integer. So over here, this function is set searching for an integer. Now, if if no element matches what we are searching for, then we return minus one as we see over here. So when you are done, then you can now hit enter to go back to the previous page. Then over here we use Betty to check our code. Then you hit enter. After successful execution, we now add it to the repository. We now commit created Then we now push to GitHub. So after performing this particular task and your checker has been released, you click on check code. After successful checking, then your done over here will now change to green. Now we can now move on to the next tax, which is tax train. A goal is not always meant to be reached. It often serves simply as something to aim at. So we are being asked to write a program that performs simple operations. You are allowed to use the standard library. So we have usage of calc num1 operator num2. You can assume num1 and num2 are integers. So use the atoy function to convert them from the string input to int. So the operator is one of the following. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulo. Now the program prints the result of the operation followed by a new line. You can assume that the result of all operations can be stored in an int. If the number of arguments is wrong, print error, followed by a new line and exit with the status 98. Now if the operator is none of the above, print error, followed by a new line and exit with the status 99. If the user tries to divide by 0, print error, followed by a new line and exit with the status 100. Now we are being asked that this tax requires that you create 4 different files. This file should contain all the function prototypes and data structures used by the program. We can use the structure over here. So the first file that we are going to create is our tray calc.h. So to do that, copy the file name over here, come to our terminal and type vi and paste the name of the file and hit enter. In the command mode, hit i to enter the insertion mode, then we can now type our code. After typing our code, hit escape on your keyboard. Then you type colon wq. Then you hit enter. Then we can now use Betty to check our file. After successful checking, you can now do git add git commit dash m. Then create three calc dot h. Then we can now do git push. Then the next file that we are supposed to create 
is the tray up functions. This file should contain the five following functions operation add, operation subtract, operation multiply, operation divide, and operation modulo. So to do that, we copy the name of the file, come to our terminal and type vi followed by the name of the file and hit enter. In the command mode, hit I on your keyboard to enter the insertion mode so that we can type our code. So this is our function, our uh, file, function file which contains the operation add, operation subtract function, operation multiply, operation divide, and operation modulus function. So when you are done typing your function, you click on escape, then you type colon wq. Then you hit enter on your keyboard. Please, the link to the, all the codes that we are using in this task is in the description below. So please, click on the link. To take, it will take you to where the codes are so that you can have access to them and follow as we move along. So whilst you are done writing your tray up function.c file, we now use Betty to check. So three ops. So after successful check, we can now do git add git commit dash n. Then created op functions. Then we now do git push to push to GitHub. The next file that we are creating is the tray get up funk.c. So to do that, what this file is doing is that this file should contain the function that selects the correct function to perform the operation asked by the user. You are not allowed to declare any other function. So what we are writing must satisfy the whole of this statement over here. So to do that, Copy the name of the file, come back to your terminal and type vi and paste the name of the file and hit enter. In the command mode, hit i to enter the insertion mode so that we can now type our code. After typing our code, hit escape on your keyboard to enter the command mode and type colon wq to write and quit. So the w is for saving. And the queue is for you to go back to the previous page and hit enter. After doing that, we can now use Betty to check our file. So B E T T Y, then the name of the file, then hit enter. After a successful check, we can now add it to our repository. We can now commit and the message is created three get up fun dot c. Then we can now do git push. When you are done pushing, then we can now move on to the last file. Because we are being asked to to write four files, which is three main dot C, three up functions dot C, three get up function dot C, and three calc dot H. And we have already, we have created all of these three. So we are now left with the three main dot C. So to create this file, you come here and copy the name of the file. Come back to your terminal and type VI then you paste the name of the file and hit enter on your keyboard. Now when you do this, you'll be inside the command mode. So for us to be able to type, you click on I on your keyboard to enter the insertion mode. Then from here we can type our code. So now you can see that the main.c file, okay, the code that we have over here has satisfied these statements that we have over here. So after typing your code, the next thing that we are supposed to do is to hit escape on your keyboard. Then you type colon wq. 
that's save and quit and return to the previous page then from here we can now use betty to check our code after successful execution by betty we can now add it to our repository commit then my message is going to be created main.c then i can now do git push to push my code to github when you are done and your checker is released you will click on check code then after a successful execution you will see your done over here will be checked and it will change to green like this when you are done with these three tags then you can now click here to unlock one advanced tag then you click ok over here so now our advanced tag is saying that most hackers are young because young people tend to be adaptable as long as you remain adaptable you can always be a good hacker so we are supposed to write a program that prints the operation codes of each old main function. The usage is dot main the number of bytes. The output format, the opcodes should be printed in hexadecimal, lowercase. Now each opcode is two car long. Listing ends with a new line. So this is the example that we are talking about. Then you are allowed to print to use printf and atoy. Now note, if you want to translate your opcodes to assembly instructions, you can use, for instance, udcli. So to be able to see this, you click on the link. It will open in a new tab for us. So what, in a nutshell, the code that we are supposed to write should satisfy the whole of these statements that we have over here so to do that come to the down here copy the file name which is 100 main opcodes.c come to the terminal and type vi then you paste the name of the file and hit enter in the command mode hit i on your keyboard to enter the insertion mode then you can now type your code after typing your code okay hit escape to go back to the command mode if you hit escape it will now move from the insertion mode to the command mode now let me explain what this code is doing over here we are being asked okay so when you look at all of these statements that we have over here the whole of these statements you can see that from here which is our function to the main okay all of this is satisfying this particular statement so when you are done you type colon w cube then you hit enter then from here we can now use betty to check our code after a successful execution, we can now do git add git commit dash m. Then my message is going to be created 100 main op codes dot c. Then you can now do git push to push to github. If your checker is released, click on check code. Then after that, you see that your done over here will now be changed to green. Please thank you for watching my videos. Please hit the subscribe button if you are new to my channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, please thank you for returning.